In real life, hand gestures are one of the most important ways that we communicate. Today, I'm going to help you set up full hand tracking in VRChat using a Quest 2, ALVR, and an OSC program by A3S on Booth. All of the resources used in this video are free, but please consider tipping A3S for their fabulous software. All resources that I use in this video will be linked in the description. Please note that you must have SteamVR already installed for this tutorial to work, and if you have problems throughout the setup process, there is a list of common issues at the end of this video for your convenience. I also have the script of this video available for free download in the description if written instructions are easier for you to follow. Okay, so in order to set up hand tracking, we have to do three things. Uh, number one, download and set up ALVR or Airlight VR on the PC as well as your headset. Number two, set up your avatar with A3S software. And number three, launch supporting programs as well as turn on OSC and VR chat. Keep in mind that this hand tracking relies on the Quest built-in hand tracking and this won't work with other headsets. Also, a PC is required for this method of hand tracking. So first, let's install Airlight VR on our computer. Go to the ALVR GitHub page where you can find the latest release of the ALVR PC client. Then download the latest ALVR installer. In your downloads folder, double click on the ALVR installer in order to install the program. You may need to enable administrator mode in order to run ALVR. Then follow the prompts in the ALVR setup window. Yours will say install instead of repair. Mine says repair because I already have ALVR installed. We will add our headset later after installing ALVR onto our Quest, but for now, all you have to do is restart SteamVR in order to make sure that ALVR installed correctly. Now we need to install ALVR to our headset using SideQuest. SideQuest is a way to install custom applications onto your Quest. If you have trouble installing SideQuest, you may need to enable developer mode in your Quest settings. On the SideQuest website, click on Get SideQuest and download the appropriate installer for your computer. In your Downloads folder, run the SideQuest installer. Make sure your headset is plugged into your computer and then follow the prompts to install SideQuest. Once SideQuest is installed, there will be an option to load an APK onto your headset's files. An APK is just an application file for your Quest. The APK that we need can be found on the ALVR GitHub. Download the ALVR client for the Oculus Quest from the same page that you downloaded the ALV installer for PC. Then inside of SideQuest, go to the Install APK button and locate the APK you just downloaded. Once you've installed it correctly, you will get a notification that all tasks have been completed. Now you can close SideQuest. In order for the Quest to pass its hand tracking from itself onto your computer, we need to download an ADB forwarder. ADB stands for Android Debug Bridge. The ADB forwarder specifically designed for ALVR is this one by Atlas the Proto. You can find a link to this GitHub page on both the ALVR GitHub as well as in the description of this video. On the GitHub, click on the latest release of ADB forwarder. Download adbforwarder.zip and extract it to your computer. Inside of a zip file, you will find the ADB forwarder, which needs to be running when you plan to use hand tracking through ALVR. We will come back to the ADB forwarder later. Now we need to install A3S's OSC hand tracking sender, which can be found inside of the 7-zip file. .7z is a special type of archive file, just like a zip file. In order to open it, you may need to install special but free applications onto your computer. Extract the archive to reveal the files inside. Now we have access to fingerosc.exe. Double-click this application in order to run it. Once the application is finished launching, it will reveal a project that doesn't look interesting. However, what it's actually doing is sending hand tracking information to VRChat using OSC. This application must be running in the background while you plan on using hand tracking. Now open Unity with the avatar that you wish to use for hand tracking. In order to set up hand tracking, we need to replace some existing components on our avatar. Therefore, in order to not disrupt an existing avatar, let's duplicate it and make a dedicated avatar just for hand tracking. Now, in order to make sure that our hand tracking avatar does not override our existing avatar, let's click on the avatar, go to Pipeline Manager, and detach it from its Blueprint ID. 
Now when we upload this avatar, we'll be creating a new one instead of replacing our existing avatar. Next, we need to import the Finger Tracker OSC Unity package into our project. Double click on the Unity package to launch it, then click Import to import all assets. The assets will appear in your project in a folder called Finger Tracker OSC. Now we need to add A3S's components to our avatar. First, let's replace the gesture layer as well as the expressions parameters layer with A3S's. Finally, we need to put the default expressions menu from the VRChat SDK into the Expressions menu slot. Go to your VRChat SDK folder, then click on Examples 3, Expressions, and drag the default expressions menu into the appropriate slot. If you're confused where any of these components go, there is a screenshot of the settings that A3S uses located inside of the Finger Tracker OSC folder. Now that we've finished setting up our avatar, we need to publish it to VRChat servers using the VRChat SDK control panel. Click Build in Publish and then fill out the prompts as if you would with any normal avatar. After Unity finishes building your avatar and you've filled out the prompts, you can click Upload to send your avatar to VRChat servers. Finally, we need to launch all of our programs in order to get them to work together. Open the ALVR dashboard on your computer. Then click on Add Client manually in order to add your quest. At the same time, launch ALVR on your quest. If you're having trouble finding the application, you may need to sort your applications by unknown sources or turn on developer mode on your quest. Once you've launched ALVR on your quest, you'll get a host name which should be a four digit number followed by .client.alvr. Type that into the Add Client section of the ALVR dashboard. Finally, we need to type in a specific IP address that will work with our wired quest. If you're using your quest wirelessly over Airlink, please go to the ALVR documentation in order to find the correct IP address for you. However, if you're using it wired over Oculus Link, all you have to do is type in 127.0.0.1. You can also choose to give your device a name if you would like. Now click on Add Client in order to save this configuration to the ALVR dashboard. Now double click on the ADB Forwarder in order to launch it. Upon launching the ADB Forwarder application, you will get a console that tells you whether or not the connection was a success as well as some information about your headset. The ADB Forwarder needs to be running in the background when you plan on using hand tracking. If your headset and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network, you've successfully put in all of the information into the ALVR PC client and you've started the ADB forwarder, you should see Steam VR inside of your headset inside of the ALVR app. If it still doesn't appear, you may need to restart Steam VR inside of the ALVR dashboard. Once you have Steam VR up and running, launch fingerosc.exe and let it run in the background. Now you can launch VRChat and switch to your hand tracked avatar. Once you open the action menu, toggle on OSC and put down your controllers, hand tracking should start. So lastly, I'm going to reiterate some common issues that may be what's happening if you can't get it to work. If you can't pick anything up or click on it, make sure to enable hand tracking controller switch in your Quest settings. This allows you to pick up and put down your controllers to activate or deactivate hand tracking at any time. It's a lot easier to interact with buttons while holding controllers. If you've installed the ALVR application to your headset but you can't find it, make sure that developer mode is turned on in your Quest settings. Then sort your application's library by unknown sources in order to find ALVR. If you can't connect to ALVR even though the IP and port are correct in both your headset and on your computer, make sure that your computer and headset are on the same Wi-Fi network. This needs to be the case even if you are using a link cable. Then try relaunching the ADB forwarder. If this still doesn't work, make sure that your Quest and PC are running the same version of ALVR. If you don't know how to install the hand tracking sender, you may need 7-zip or another program that can unzip .7z files. A .7z file is just another type of archive, just like a zip file. If your fingers aren't fully tracking, or they look like index controller tracking, you can try a couple of things. Number one, make sure that hand tracking is turned on inside of your Quest settings. If you can't find it, it may still be under experimental features. If your hand tracking is working, but it looks like an index controller, 
you probably are emulating index controllers with your quest. If you're emulating index controllers, this will override the custom hand tracking. Make sure that the controller emulation mode on ALVR is set to Oculus Quest 2, which is the default. If you're experiencing Unity errors, make sure that the VRChat SDK is up to date. Additionally, make sure you have put everything in the correct slot and remove conflicting components from your avatar where possible. If you have lots of scripts, expressions, custom animations, etc., it may cause problems for the hand tracking, so you'll want to remove them if possible. If the hand tracking is generally glitchy, first close out any applications on your computer that you don't need running. Additionally, you can try the 256-bit version for smoother tracking, however it will be harder on your PC. Additionally, make sure that your play area is well lit, uncluttered, and the cameras on the headset have a clear view of your hands. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to follow along with this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will get to them as soon as I can. If you found this helpful, maybe consider supporting me over on Booth where you can get all kinds of particles and trails for your avatar. I also have a Ko-Fi if you just want to donate or a Throne to contribute to some nicer gifts in order to allow me to make new and exciting content. Thank you so much for your time and I appreciate all of the support so far. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and you got the hand tracking working to your liking. <laughs>